Man, reflecting back, it seems pretty crazy that I've been working for almost a decade. I've worked in consulting to startups, big tech companies like Amazon, and I can say with 100% confidence that networking is one of the most important skills that got me to each opportunity, no doubt. I also just spent the last two years supporting my wife on her MBA journey, and we'll be starting mine soon at Kellogg's Business School later this year. Despite being what I would consider a mediocre student in undergrads, I got my first job through networking and connections by starting the networking process as early as I could before graduating. Luckily, I'd worked every summer at different jobs and had some work experience that I could talk about. And even at my lowest career points, networking has helped me to get out of all of them. So here's five of my best networking tips for success that I can share. And what have you found helpful in your own journey? Leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear them. So first off, I think the purpose of networking is simply to help one another. Through helping other people, you're adding value to the network and the network is going to be there for you when you need it as well. My first tip is to be the host. Cook people dinner, have them over for drinks, whatever it is, just take the initiative. I used to get annoyed that I'd constantly be the one going up to people and introducing myself, especially when it felt like nobody else was doing the same thing. But I've come to learn that it just doesn't matter. I've honestly just stopped caring about it. And even if I don't know somebody really well, I just take the initiative in the first step to reach out. There's also this element of confidence that gets signaled to people when you take the initiative. So my second tip is to think about people as people. Don't think about people as potential opportunities or how can they help me? Starting with a people first, human to human mindset always allows for the natural organic stuff later. And after the interaction, I would feel like this weird expectation to act that same way in every future interaction with that person. Walking on eggshells is super annoying and just gets old after a while if I'm being completely honest. These days, I just wanna know that I'm being myself and I'm being as authentic as possible. Authenticity really matters and people can see it a mile away when you're just trying to use them to get something. My third tip is to actively look for commonalities. Two points from Dale Carnegie's classic, how to win friends and influence people are talk in terms of the other person's interests and be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Be genuinely interested in what people are trying to say and try to see life from their perspective, even if it isn't the most interesting at first. I can't begin to tell you how many conversations I've had where at first I feel there isn't a genuine connection, but then the other person says something about their hobbies or interests that's really intriguing, and all of a sudden we have a genuine connection about something. Part of this is also keeping the conversation going, and one thing I found useful is to anticipate the next question during the conversation. It's almost a little bit like trying to follow a trail of breadcrumbs. One of the questions I love to ask people is, what do you like to do for fun? And if they say, for example, I like to paint, well, a natural next question, unless they answer it already, is what do you like to paint? Or what types of paintings do you like? Or what inspires you? You get the point. This might seem completely obvious, but sometimes I find people are so self-absorbed by their stress that conversations are mostly one-sided, or if they don't mean to act that way, they forget that they're acting that way. So don't be that person. All right, tip number four is to keep in touch. I learned some of these tactics from a coworker once. I often find that the initial spark or connection that happens in a conversation, it'll wear off at some point. And keeping in touch with intention is the best way to keep people top of mind for you and also top of mind for them. So try to reach out to two people in your network each week and make it a habit. I like to use LinkedIn to keep in touch or just shoot people a message about something you think that they might like. It could be an article or just a quick hello. Keep a running list of your contacts and keep track of when you're reaching out to them too. This may sound like overdoing it, but the alternative is maybe not doing it at all, at least in my experience. And finally, tip number five is be a connector. Here's where the real power of the network starts to kick in. Think about how one person's interests could be a connection for another person as well. This is a continuous way to add value to people and make the network even stronger in the long run. I have a few friends who are extremely good at this. So much so that they're really known in their circles as the go-to people when you're looking to get in touch with somebody. 
So what are your networking tips and what have you found helpful in your own journey? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this one helpful, why not share it with somebody who you think might like it as well? Please also like and subscribe to the channel. That really helps to tell YouTube to get this video out to more people. So would be much appreciated. All right, guys, see you in the next one.